Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com and part 2 of the plant tutorial series so we will continue modeling our Douglas DC-10 air plan so be sure to stay with me my name is Adam Hope and this is gfxtoday.com now in this folder I have some reference images for this plan one like as you see from the back and from the front and side and I try to collect every angle I can from this plan to be able and actually this one is the one we're going to be using the most and this isn't a real plan it's just a model and it's really simple so I'm not going to make it too much complex so this one will be my reference but you can also go to these ones too if you want to make a higher polygon model so back to our 3D Studio Max let's go to stop view and start making the w this wing and I'm going to do this by choosing a line go from here cam just press and follow this line it's actually black I can't see it very well but I know it's already here so now let's go there can press F3 to see where you're going and close plane yes now let's modify our spline our line sorry now let's copy this value and paste it to this one and now they are on the same line and let me change the color of this for now let's go to here and adjust this one cool now I'm going to apply a pebble modifier so pebble and go to the front view and let's give it some height just a little bit like this and now I'm going to convert it to editable poly it just adjust its position and rotate it a little bit on snap okay now give it the default material and right click convert to editable poly and let's get started now let's add some details to the swing so let's go to front view so the top view select vertices and we want to put some vertices in this one so let me press ctrl C to make cut and go from here to here go to perspective this one from the bottom from here to there Let's go here press alt C alt X to see through and let's select our vertices just put it here and put in this line and okay now we have this wing and I need to just connect these ones let's connect and go to like here press ok and let's adjust these vertices ok cool press alt x again 
now we have our beautiful wing okay now let's make some cuts press here and ring now we've selected all these ones and let's connect them together press ok and go to stop view now we need to hold down control and press on vertices so now we've chosen all these vertices and I just want to only select those front ones and pull them to right here and let's just decrease these ones and do the same for this and the same here okay okay great now let's connect these ones first per string again okay and connect and oops maybe we should just slide it over a little bit to the front it's okay select this vertex up a little bit in this one too this one. maybe we don't need to do this now Okay, now let's chamfer this a little bit. We need to see which one to chamfer. It's this one. So I think we just don't need this one. So just press Ctrl and Backspace and it's deleted now. Okay. So let's me champ for this. Oops. Okay, press loop and chamfer just a little bit like this. Maybe two segments. Press OK. And same thing for this one. Press loop. Um, this one too maybe press chamfer and ok and we're doing this just because we will mesh smooth this whole thing later so that's why I'm doing this let's make some cuts here connect this and press ok let's connect this ok and now let's try our mesh smooth so go to here mesh smooth and looks ok ok smooth and beautiful Now this needs to be chamfered, so go to here, select all these edges, these ones till here, and press chamfer, 
make it just one segment it's okay so now when you mesh smooth this it looks better and this vertice needs to maybe you can chamfer this to let's see chamfer it's okay and now maybe just take these ones up a little bit and these ones oops, this one too go up these ones and let's take the same thing for this this I don't know if this one is converted to real plan if anyone is going to survive so don't just steal my model and put it in a machine and make it an airplane okay because I know you will be responsible for this I don't know if this is going to fly if you put people on it this wing really looks I don't know just weird maybe you can decrease this little bit okay now it started to look fine and now let's make let's see I really don't like this chamfering over here so we'll just delete it loop press control backspace now it's deleted and maybe I need to delete this one and just connect these ones oh, no. ring connect oh no ok three mesh smooth and now let's try to lift these ones up just a little bit and this one and now the wing is done okay or I think so something wrong is going on here I don't know how the real wing looks so I'll just try to modify this as much as I can and I really need to get in a real plan to see how this stuff do look like in real life okay so here is the plan I really took so long time in this let's go to this I don't know what's called this thing over here and we will make a tube put in front view and I'll start from see here left view right X and 
now just make this one segment can hide this for now and convert to it to poly now delete this oh my god okay this one this one and this one ring control Delete. Now go to the left view, select these faces, and just scan them down. Shift, drag to here, scale down again. scale down again and now we can just you know maybe go to here maybe you can start just a new model for this one so I'll just copy this it's okay oops where is here it is okay and uh, it's already visible poly let's delete this and start over take these ones put them inside this and scale down scale these down Put them in place. Same thing for here. Scale up a little bit. And let's take these ones. Hold down Shift, copy. Shift again. and shift again and now this one will be really small I don't know how this like okay we'll have to just make a chamfer from this and just decrease the amount and select these ones and just scale oops and select these ones and select these ones or oh, no you don't understand I oh my god okay 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 sorry 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 press okay and unselect these ones okay <laughs> and it's just make this like there and grab it to here okay press alt x here alt x here and our model is done we need to close cap for this one so just cap holes no just select um, let's see okay i didn't want to do that but i have to press loop and hold down shift and do this okay now select the vertices and weld these together and you'll have to do the same thing here loop and okay 
Select all versions. Okay. Same thing for this one. And one last time, let's select this one, press loop, and well, okay, so far so cool. Now let's apply a modifier, just a smooth modifier, we don't need a mesh smooth, so just a smooth modifier auto smooth and let's copy this one paste it here hey it's good of course it's good for a low poly model let's unhide all and now we need to make this part this sticks that sticks this one to this one and this is just a regular box just a box from here to there and drag it to the right place the front view convert to editable poly and drag it to like here and again let's delete this face and give it the default material take this to like here and let's grab this to like there go down take these two vertices down and oops need to get back to the left view and now Take this up to the wing and this down and just put them to like here this one here now let's connect these two together put this here and this one above it and now maybe we connect these ones connect press F3 Drag this to here There and there And now Connect, press OK Take this one here and This one just stay in its place let's go to perspective view and see how this looks now those two needs to be 
scaled make sure it's center scale them down and select these ones loop okay anyway select everything what's the front view and unselect these ones so now it's selected what we want and let's chamfer these ones okay it's okay and let's try to make mesh smooth two and there we go just needs to adjust these ones here first let's make a cap close to this one cap and Let's chamfer this one, this one, and this one, and same thing goes for here. Just a little bit like this. Now let's see how it goes. It's good. Maybe we'll need to chamfer these edges too. So chamfer this one. Okay. Select this one and this one. And the same thing for, you know, here, here here and there and there and okay no do you think this one needs another one only this one okay and now press ok and we'll have to select each individual one of these ones you know just this one and this one for all of them Oops. and press control and backspace okay so I'll do all of this so now they are all done and let's go back to our mesh smooth and finally it's done okay it's the simplest and I think the hardest part of what we did so far. So we have this one and now we need to copy this here just make them as a group press ok and mirror copy ok go to the front view and move this to here like this and now let's make this little wing it's pretty easy just go to the left view and follow the lines and you should be good to go Maybe we'll take this with us. Okay. Now let's make a pebble.
and convert to its full poly. And now what I need to do is make it wide from here and thin from here. So I can do this by an FFD box like this. What's the front view? Select these vertices and this should work. Move it to like here. And now it's done. And I think we need to just decrease the whole thing like so. Okay. And now let's make a tessellate modifier. So go down here, press tessellate. Okay, and make sure the tension is zero and three should work good. And now let's apply our mesh smooth, and this should smooth this and make it look really cool. Okay, so what's next? Now let's take this one and it's a group, so ungroup and take this one, this one, and copy them, press ok, move to the left view and put it on its place, this one should be here and it really has some rotation already on the real plan so I'll do this and I'll do this here too and let's take this all the way to this part and let's take these vertices and just scale them up take them down a little bit that's not a little bit right I don't know and let's take these ones move them to there here these ones to here, X, C through, C, okay, take this shape and rotate it a little bit and move it to here. front view and put this on the place here okay so now we have this done and we need to modify the shape for this one from the edit full poly we need to make a cut here Sorry, connect. Why do I always say connect as a cut? I don't know. Maybe because cut can be used as a connect or anything, I don't know. Anyway, let's go here. Take this one and oh, let me see. Bevel or extrude should work good and let's take this to here and take this to here okay and the real model has this part I don't know why I don't know what it does it's just there you know ask them okay Take these vertices, put them in here, and these ones should be there, and maybe another. 
connect here. Okay, so now back, we're back to business. So there is something that really pisses me off. Is I think these little guys need to go up a little. Yes, like so. It's really more realistic. And for this nose needs some adjustments and I left it to the very end. Let's press Alt C. Okay. Maybe no. Okay. Let me see. Let's select these ones. Press connect and take them some verses here, there, and some here, like this. Some from here. I think this shape is really much better than the previous one. Now let me make these windows and I don't know how to do this just maybe you can use a cut tool so I'll see for cut from here to there and from here to there to there and delete these polygons okay and maybe you need to Alt C, connect this one to this one and just delete this one okay so now what I need to do is let's just delete or this mesh smooth for now and go to the front view some people might say that I'm crazy what am I doing I am ruining the whole thing but actually I'm not let's select a slice slice yes and just rotate it 90 degrees Okay, make sure it's exactly on the center, like this, and remove top. Okay, now convert to usable poly and select symmetry. Make sure this is exactly on the center and flip. Now we have this here. And convert to it as well. No way. For the symmetry, maybe you will need to grab this to like here. this and now convert everything to editable poly and 
this should be exactly in the center of these two wings. Here we go. And now select this one, this one, this one, delete and delete. Okay. So we have this symmetric look. And what I'm going to do is select these edges first let's cut here and here and let's select all of these adjust these vertices it's really not that hard work it just needs you to focus a little bit and you will get this work done for this plan these two and these two are a little bit over here and a little bit up so this is just in the design I don't know why just ask them again when you ask them about I don't remember okay <laughs> let's select this one no this one and this one and now press shift go little bit inside hold down control and press cap no don't press cap okay this shouldn't work well now you will have to do something stupid which is you will manually need to fill this Okay, so I'll just show you how to do it and just do it at home, okay? I'll not do the whole thing in front of here. So just grab this till you get to this point and this point and select vertex, Control shift w to target weld, this one to this one and this one to this one where am I there now select them again and do the same thing here till you finish this whole thing again select the vertices this one to this oops this one to this oops okay what <laughs> this one to this one okay and now you know why I'm not doing this in front of you now let me finish it so now after I filled all these gaps now what you need to do let's just apply modify this one to here and this one to here of course I made a copy from this one to this one so now select all of these ones and chamfer just a little bit like this Okay, and now let's apply the mesh smooth. Now to fix this area here, you can see you can do a quad output. So this will fix nothing. Let's change this to two. It now is sort of fine, but we'll need to decrease 
this amount a little bit and relax it like so maybe increase this a little bit okay till you get to this result okay so now this looks fine and we will continue this airplane in the next part of this series we'll do the mapping and the shading with V-Ray so thank you for watching I am Abanob and this is gfxtoday.com